one question that keeps coming up about these two saws since I did the comparison review between the 18 volt times 2 and the 40 volt max is that are they the same tool with different battery platforms or is there a different motor? We know they're both 36 volt tools, so is the power boost that the 40 volt is getting coming just from the battery? Is it the 2700 cell technology over the old 18650s in the old 36 volt that is causing the new 40 volt to have a bit more power? Well, let's open it up and have a look. Looking in the ends of the motor cover on each tool, they look to be identical already. Another question a few people asked is, is there an improvement to this guard? I hate to say it, but I don't think there is. They're the same pressing, so the guard is identical in shape and size and everything. And the springs appear to be the same, feels the same. At the moment, I would say this one is working better, but it may just be that this one's a little bit older. A bit of sawdust and shit in there, that sort of thing jams up a bit more. So, not an improvement there. I was hoping and assuming that this piece of plastic here would just pop off and I would see the, the motor. This piece here would come off and realise that that wasn't actually... Sorry, just shit myself. <laughs> Guy Fawkes here tonight, so there might be a few bangs and pops in the background. Yeah, so this hasn't done what I wanted it to do. So it's a little tricky to see. Without now taking this half off as well, I think. Uh, I was hoping this was going to be a fairly quick video. Well, it kind of looks like we're going whole hog now, so I guess we'll get this one apart, you know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained and all that. Uh, I hope these all go back together, sweet. Else I'm going to be miffed. And yes, you are correct, it is another episode of When the Wife's Away. As soon as she leaves the house, my poor old tools get pulled to bits. Right, this could quickly turn into more of a clusterfuck than the US election. So before we go any further, we'll just have a look at a few things. To get their motor out, I need to unscrew it from in here. You can see the screws in there. So we'll do that in a moment. But first, I just want to have a look at these capacitors at a different size. This one is 1500 microfarad. Stay and this one's much bigger, going to be over a couple of thousand. Yeah, 2200 microfarad. So, both 50 volt. More capacitance on the 36 volt 18 by 2 than the 40 volt. Other differences are obviously the battery system where the batteries go on. 140 volt battery, 218 volt batteries and 18 volt or 36 volt has battery indicators here and here for both of your batteries don't need that on the 40 volt because the battery is easy enough to access and push the one battery button for the fuel gauge i'm liking these cute little switches in the front of the trigger here when you start to pull the trigger and you hear that little click i believe that's turning the light on to delve a little bit deeper to find that out but i can't Think of any other reason why that's there, unless it has something to do with the Bluetooth, that's a possibility. Might be turning on your VAC via the Bluetooth. This 40 volt model also has an area here with a light for when you are ramping up the torque. It's in a sort of strange place because it's on the front, so you don't see it all that well unless you're leaning well over the saw. Should be, it would be a lot better down here, or I don't know else, where else, but at that point there you don't really see it. And I don't know if I really see the point in a light coming on when the torque changes anyway, who cares? Right, let's pop the 18 volt by 2 one open a little bit further. It's starting to get awkward. Oh, this has turned into a bit of a mirror. I've loosened these screws off. I can't get that out in an easy fashion. I don't really want to start pulling off bearings and the fan and everything. And I certainly don't want to have to do it twice. So I might do a trump and call this one early and just say that motor in there and that motor in there are the same. They certainly look the same through the grill from the outside. All the wiring and everything going in is identical. The boards are slightly different. Bloody fireworks. All other part numbers, this being the most telling, 
these are exactly the same part. They have the same part number, this is the same part number, this is the same part number. This plastic guard here the same, fan the same. Essentially this whole unit here is being taken off and put onto the 40 volt. The difference is being that this one has the different battery area so there's a slight change there but the handle's all the same. The switches in the handle are the same. We've got a different capacitor. Uh, but just about everything else is the same. This one has a bit more wiring due to the fact it's got more batteries. There's a bit more going on in behind the batteries here. These do have separate part numbers which is interesting because they look almost identical. Only difference I can see is just here. This bit of alley stops there. This one it carries along and then kicks up at the end. There is a little bit missing here which is on here. There's also a sort of guide here for your blade lock for when you're changing the blade which is absent on the 18 by 2 version and this part here is slightly different being slightly improved upon slightly modified the 18 by 2 tool also has this extra little board that the 40 volt doesn't have just did a quick little google search to try and work out what it was what it's doing I think it may be something to do with the battery regulation between the two batteries but I can't find any info with, from the numbers that are on it, so that'll have to remain a mystery. If you know what it is, let me know down below. These parts here that look to be aluminium and have traditionally been aluminium in the past, these parts are magnesium on both tools. Now this doesn't drive directly onto your blade. If you have a look here, a little hard to see perhaps, but once it goes inside that hole, where this enlarged area here is, there is a gear there. So this goes in there, contacts with that gear, and that drives your blade. That gives you that extra bit of depth that we're all after. Remember how I said this was the light switch? I've chucked a battery on just so we can test that this is the light switch. Pretty certain it is. As soon as I touch this trigger, the light should come on. When you hear that little click, yeah, that little tiny little click. Cute little light switch. That wasn't my guts or anything, that was a speaker. Bluetooth turning off. Sorry guys, I don't really want to pull in part into the rest of it. I might have to drop this onto the builds channel because I've kind of failed. And now I've got to get them back together. I don't want to have to pull all those out and then fuck up getting it back together and destroy $1,000 worth of saws. I'm sure you can sympathize with that view. So thanks for watching guys. Sorry we didn't quite get to the um, purpose of the video. But in an upcoming video we will put the 4 amp battery against the 2.5 amp battery and see what the differences are there in power, power retention, torque, that sort of thing on the angle grinders or these saws, something like that. We'll check the RPMs. Till next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Hopefully by the time this is up we'll know who the President of the United States is. It's already November 5th here. Still don't know. I had to keep trying and so I unplugged a few things, started taking this board out thinking there might be a screw through the side that was stopping this in some way, but I can't see anything down the side there that will make it any easier if I continue to take this board out, so I think we're still stymied. This for what it's worth this is the top of the only potted board on the saw, the 36 volt, 18 volt by 2. But, yeah, I'm not going any further. I'm going to stop now. Put the alcohol away. Put the tools away. Put these things back together. I better put them back together tonight. Else I'll come down in the morning and start pulling them apart again. Okay, out of here. Fucking fireworks. I'm trying to film in here. Bastards. If you're unaware what Guy Fawkes is... Guy Fawkes was a bloke over in England, um, he had something to do with, he was a Catholic or something and had some wars around religion and shit at the time and there was a bit of a plot to blow up Parliament. He was caught on the 5th of November, 16, I think it was 1605, with a pile of explosives underneath the Houses of Parliament and uh, yeah, so because of that, because there was a guy who wanted to blow up Parliament, every year on November the 5th in this part of the world which isn't anywhere near England, it's on the complete opposite side, we um, let off fireworks in our gardens and frighten the shit out of all the wild birds and everybody's pet dogs and cats and everything and set a whole lot of bush on fire and all that sort of stuff. Good times.
my favourite day of the year as a kid. Oh, loved Guy Fawkes. And we also make effigies of like world leaders we don't like and that sort of thing and put them on bonfires. Potentially even more fitting than 2020. Say no more. And it's currently 10 o'clock, just coming up to 10 o'clock, and heaps of bangs going on. It'll go on until around, around here it goes till about 2 in the morning. And then people will do it pretty much every night for the next 2 or 3 weeks, to a certain extent. And where I live, people tend to do it pretty much all year round. Every Friday, Saturday night, there's always fireworks going off. Cheers guys.